started, I just want to remind you guys that it's okay to be afraid before jumping into your goals. I know it's scary, but you got this. Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've missed you so much. Today, we are getting ready in under 10 minutes. Not gonna have our friends waiting for us. Not gonna have our family being like, hurry up, get ready. This is gonna take you 10 minutes flat. It's so easy and it looks like you tried. It looks like you put a little bit more effort in. It's pretty, it's fresh. So I can't wait to show you guys this look. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the Dom fam. And let's go ahead and get into this 10 minute makeup look. The first thing I did was put some under eye patches under my eyes because my under eyes are looking really dark right now. New under eye patches from Live Tinted and they're so cute. They're called the Raise Copper Eye Mask. They have caffeine to increase circulation, vitamin C, banana, extract to brighten and depuff so I've already had this on for a while I'm gonna go ahead and take them off but skincare before makeup is so important so I want to make sure that my makeup is going to last all day and go on nice and smooth so for that I am going to be using a primer I have dry skin and it's kind of textured I need help with smoothing and hydration so I'm gonna be using the Domini Cosmetics blur and moisture primer I absolutely adore this primer so I'm just gonna work it into my skin Oh my gosh, you guys, I just remembered Domini Cosmetics now has an app. If you haven't checked it out, please check it out now. And if you're downloading the app for the first time, you get 20% off, which is so exciting. Let me actually show you because it's so nice and chic now. I'm so happy with how it looks. So that's the app. And then you open it up. I was already kind of looking at everything. So, but it looks like this. You can buy the transition palette. You can also get updates on everything that is going on right now. All the deals, you'll be the first to know all the content that we create on there. You can shop for anything, you can get all kinds of updates, so make sure to check that out. So now that my face is prepped, now I'm gonna work on the redness and dark spots on my face, so I'm gonna brighten with a full coverage concealer. This full coverage concealer from e.l.f. I really liked in my last video when I tried it, and I'm gonna be using it again because it's so good. And I, again, have dry skin, so anything that's gonna make my skin feel feel hydrated and look good I'm all about using so I'm just gonna apply it on the areas that I need it you just need to apply a little bit of concealer to brighten I like to brighten and conceal underneath my foundation I just feel like it's a little more natural looking and I'll just do a little in here and right there so I'll let it sit for 20 seconds while that's sitting I'll just go ahead and set my entire face with a hydrating mist and the mist just helps everything remind itself that it needs to look like skin. I'm gonna take the new Lunar Beauty. They have a new sponge. They have two different shapes. This is the black one. It has like a little curve here for baking but the other one is nude and it has a little curve right here. I don't have it with me right now so I would show you guys but I have been really loving the other sponge and this is my first time trying out this sponge. Okay now when we get around the eyes I'm gonna switch up to a brush because I want more coverage around my eye area. When you're using a brush, you're gonna get more coverage. So now that I've brightened and concealed the areas that I need to, I'm gonna go in and put in a lightweight foundation. The foundation that I'm using is from Catrice. It's a new one. It's called True Skin. It has hyaluronic acid in it. It's supposed to be long wearing, so I'm excited to apply this one. It's supposed to be good, so apply it. Basically everywhere you didn't apply concealer, not in your hair. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever 116 Wavy Brush. And I'm just gonna work that into my skin like this and just really cover up the redness I have. I actually used a retinol this week that was really strong and kind of burned my skin. I must have went out into the sun without sunscreen that day because it left my skin so burnt and red and splotchy. So be careful when you're using retinol in your moisturizer, you guys. Make sure to wear SPF because you don't want dry, itchy, burning skin. I'm gonna let that set into my skin. Now that my skin is glowy and even, I'm gonna go ahead and work on my brows. I'm actually going to let this mist kind of set really quick because my brows are probably a little wet and I'm gonna curl my lashes. Doing like multiple things at one time is great to get your time moving a little faster. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Brow Blade. I've been using this one for a while. I do need a new one though because I feel like I really am missing the spoolie part of this, but I do like the brow pencil. Still looking for a new one. I'm just gonna fill in my brows really quick so they're even 
So now that we've done our brows, I want to make sure my brows don't move. So I'm using a brow gel. This is from Kosas. It's the Air Brow and it comes in a really pretty package. I love their packaging. So I'm just going to go ahead and work that through. And bam, our brows are done. For my eyes, I want it to be easy, all in one place, and very soft. So I'm going to take this Lottie London, the Rose Golds palette. I love that it has shimmers, mattes, and a variation of colors from like neutral to soft pink. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this really light pink shade right here and pop it on the lid. I'm not using a primer because you are probably already put some concealer, some foundation on your eyelid. So that is fine. And just pop it from the lash line to the lid up into the crease then I'm gonna take a more this is like a lighter brown shade and I'm gonna take that with the same brush start at the lid pack it on and then same thing go all the way up into the crease but don't go higher than the pink shade that we applied earlier and once you get to the crease take a blending brush and I'm just gonna go through and blend this out Take whatever you have left on the brush and just sweep it under the lower lash line so we can add some definition here. Now I'm going to pop on a shimmer shade to the lid. Before popping it on, I'm just going to wet my brush. I'm going to take this shade right here, pop that onto the center of the lid. I'm going to apply the same highlight shade to the brow bone and inner corners a little pop. And then after that, I'm going to take a clean brush to diffuse the edges of the highlight shade and then that's it for the eyeshadow it's very simple and pretty fast and easy you can even only use one color if you wanted for the entire lid and you would be done with that and that would look really pretty then i'm going to take a brown eyeshadow and i'm going to take both browns just to try to get it as deep as possible and just use an angled liner brush this is a brow brush actually from brow code it's really beautiful it's 14 karat gold on the edges which is i feel really fancy using this 18 karat gold dual brow brush wow very fancy but i'm going to take that brush and just do a very simple line like a very thin line to define my eye shape so now we have like a lifted eye look without it being super heavy on eyeliner once we do that i'm going to take a mascara my favorite mascara is from essence it's this one called lash princess such great quality mascara formula and i'm just going to take that sweet back and forth. All right, so I just finished the mascara. I put on a little bit of individuals, but if you're not used to using lashes or falsies, don't even try it because it's gonna take you forever. I'm gonna use a radiant blush, something that's gonna give your skin a little bit of luminosity. So the one that I chose is this one from Jouer. It's the Rose Gold Blush Duo. One side's matte, which is this one, and this one has more luminosity to it. I'm gonna use this blush right here. This is the Marigold, and this is Rose Petal. And just apply that to the cheekbone. I personally like to take it underneath the eye. It gives you more of like a soft, happy look. I don't know, I just really like it. And a little bit of that luminosity is going to bring some shine, kind of like a highlight to your cheek. It's very like youthful and awake and I just really like how it looks. So I'm going to do the other side. Put a little bit on my nose. Once everything is done, I'll spritz my mist let that set for a second and while that's kind of working its magic the lip that I'm using is from Domini Cosmetics it's the She's a Tease lipstick and it's really pretty natural everyday kind of pinky deep mauvey pink so this is a demi matte finish so it's not gonna give you a flat matte look it's gonna give you a little bit of glow once the fine mist has set in then I go over everything just to make sure there's no harsh lines anywhere and I'll set with a little bit of powder. I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender setting powder and just take a little tiny bit, barely any, on the inner corner of the eye because I don't want that moving around too much. The chin and basically the center of the face. And that's it. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's the first time I haven't contoured in a video, but I still really like how it looks glowing and fresh and pretty. And here is the final, final looks. <laughs> Thank you guys.
guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, don't forget to thumbs it up. And if you missed these two videos, make sure to check them out. If you have suggestions for future videos, let me know below. I will be reading your comments. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.